guys, thanks for checking out this video. We're going to be showing you Silver City, New Mexico from a recent trip we took there in January 2023. We've been really dying to get to this place because it's an Old West history haven. It has hot springs, wineries, and a big artistic community, as well as a ton of really good cafes like this one um, that we're going to show you a little bit about. This spot is called Enjoy the Journey. It's a cafe and gallery and offers a lot of vegetarian, vegan, and gluten-free options. Would highly recommend. We ate here, I think, every day uh, during our trip. So what you're seeing is just a little bit of the downtown of Silver City. Lots of colorful buildings, galleries, shops, really fun place to just get lost and, and check out all the different corners. So we're official Tranquil Buzz converts. A trip to Silver City cannot go without checking out this spot. It's a coffee shop. They have lots of really good drinks and food, but really the visit is worth it because the interior is just totally incredible. They also offer music and poetry readings, etc., throughout the week. So check this place out if you're ever in the area. One of the local artists we visited while in Silver City was one that worked with Choya Wood, and he actually developed the fencing for this uh, Tranquil Buzz cafe shop. So um, this is what you're seeing right now. So we kept seeing signs for this big ditch park, so we checked that out. It was a really nice trail. It had water, which was nice, um, but since it was winter time when we visited, there wasn't a lot of leaves on the trees or much greenery. But I think if you're visiting Silver City, you should check this out for a little reprieve after a lunch or breakfast for a nice walk. About 40 minutes outside of Silver City is Faywood Hot Springs. This was a big reason why we decided to come check out Silver City and it did not disappoint. If you come check out Faywood Hot Springs, you'll likely run into a peacock or two. They were all over the place. We made it in time to catch this beautiful sunset and we brought some snacks along with us that we picked up at the local food co-op including new mexico's very famous green chilies we picked up this salsa which was made in hatch and it was some of the best i've ever had Hey, 
Hollywood actually offers a lot of camping spaces, spaces for RVs, and they even rent out cabins. They don't offer day passes to the hot springs, so your way in is really through a reservation. We got a camping reservation, even though we weren't staying the night, um, and that gave us access over the span of two days. This hot spring was actually quite large. They had a ton of pools and they were broken into three different categories. They had the clothing required, they had clothing optional, and if you're interested in renting a private space, they had those by the hour as well. That about wraps up our quick weekend trip to Silver City. Overall, we love this place and we can't wait to come back, check out the hot springs, enjoy the coffee in the downtown, and something we didn't get to show you was our trip to Esperanza Vineyard, some of the best wines we've ever had in our life. So thanks for watching. <laughs>